Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're starting a new series on the channel. A game called The Hunter Call of the Wild. This is a hunting game where you can either follow a storyline or you can do hunting on your own. This is a game I have played for several years before deciding to do a series on this. That said, let's get into the video. Alright, we got to create our character, or choose our character, which seems this is the only one that is different. We'll go what's already selected. Right, and I will be doing another series alongside this one on Train Sim World 3, Southeast uh. Mod Pack. You made it here in one here we piece. Are. Into the game. Welcome to the Untamed Wild. Name's Colton Locke, but everyone calls me Doc. I'm the warden up here, and I know just about every nook and cranny of this place. I heard this is your first time in the Pacific Northwest and Lake District. Well, this here's the best hunting reserve you'll find in a hundred miles. I've been hunting here my whole life. And I still don't get tired of this place. Looks like we've already got a deer. <whistles> Alright, I already know where our first animal is. Go ahead. Around. There's a lot to discover out here. We've got Not ourselves a, a nice revolver, a two-barreled hunting do. shotgun, Try to find an animal trap and a here. nice, decent sniper rifle. Let's see, the deer was yep right there. Right, let's line up our shots. That shot should have killed. Alright, we've now shot the deer, so now we're going to have to find the blood and then track it to the body. We got a decent hit on it. It's not going to tell us which way, like it should do. I can see which way it ran off to. But we hit a vital organ, so its body should be around here somewhere. Bring up our phone. That's marking where the blood splatter is. I'm not seeing a body anywhere. Oh, we got another blood splatter. And there's the deer. Looks like a white tailed deer. Yep, nice female white tailed deer. Let's see. Where did we hit? Ooh, slap bang in the middle of the lung. A perfect shot. If you want to get your bearings, there are lookout points spread out all over the reserve. 
Right, now we need to go to the lookout point, which is just up this mountain, I believe. Let's go to our map. How's it go it marked? I looks like I need to go all the way over here. I need to go to a lookout point. So yep, there's one just up here. Which, as it's going to take us a while to get up there, I will see you when we're up there. Which will be a few minutes for me, but only a second for you. Alright, we are just arriving at the lookout tower. Got some nice benches, a fire pit, and the firewood storage table. We head up into the watchtower. As we're heading up here, I'm going to say to go check out my both my TikToks and my Discord server which are linked in the description down below. Right, nearly at the top now. I do have several DLCs for this game. So some that, content I have may it not be accessible to everyone else who has the game. Up here, you can see a lot of great hunting spots in the area. Balmont's not only where Hope set up camp, it's also famous for the railroad bridges along the old North Pacific line. Keep an eye out for them if you can in between blacktail hunting. Or, why not use them as vantage points? I once bagged a whitetail from the Runaki Bridge. I usually hunt along when I do play on my own, not recording. I usually Be hunt sure to stop by along one of the outposts. this area. You can find pretty much anything you need along there. these or this lake here. Let's see, can we spot anything from the watchtower? Nope, not seeing anything on those two sides. And it is foggy, which is making it a bit harder to see. And if you look right down there, you can see where we started. About 500 meters away. And we'll check the final side, see if there's anything. Which we are not seeing anything along here. And we'll go ahead and go into our inventory and see what weaponry we've got. Right, for our sniper we've got the Ranger 243. And for our shotgun we've got the Kavasham Steward 12G, 12 gauge. For our revolver we have the Focuso 357 Magnum. Then we got some binoculars, we got a road deer cooler, a deer bleat cooler, which mimics the mating call of a deer. Got a predator jackrabbit call, which you can call in 
any predators, acting like an injured prey animal. Then we got some scent eliminator. Let's go have a look inside the watchtower. As we've had a look around the outside. And this is quite a large map on this game. Alright, so what have we got in here? Some nice firewood, pots and pans. Anything in the bucket? No. Ooh, got a good old wood burner. Nice tables, chairs. And we got a big like poster. Some storage. Right. I'm going to now walk around until I find something else to hunt. Unless we have a mission. Which we do. Go to an outpost. Which, the closest outpost is this one here. Which is the one I usually use, as I don't usually go out of Balmont, the Balmont region. And I'll see you when we get over to the outpost. Alright, we are just arriving at the outpost now. Which I already know the layout. So we'll go ahead and claim this as our use outpost. And we'll go explore. Nice place, right? You won't find a soft bed in many parts around here. Don't forget to stock up before heading out. Right, looks like we got a information board. Then got your shop here. Every outpost, as far as I'm aware, has a shop where you can buy all types of weapons. You can even get bows. Got different types of ammo. Buy different sites, coolers, scents. You can even get some decoys if you're turkey hunting. Got consumables, doggy biscuits are from one of the DLCs I've got. Buy different clothing items. Buy different backpacks. Hey there, you know that guy I met earlier, uh, Hope? Well, looks like he's been having a bit of a problem lately. And then we can also get some dogs. He's been camping out over at Balmont a couple weeks, but coming back last night, he found his camp. I don't know why it's head. saying I don't own the required DLC, even though I do have the right DLC. Oh no, it's, I don't have Some the DLC taken, for the Labrador the place Retriever, like it had been just really the Bloodhound. I don't know if it was an uh, animal or some tourist troublemakers, but I'm up in Chopeka all day and Which, can't look into it. as it's free, I'm going to go ahead and get a, do a dog. Which, I don't know what we're going to call them. Listen, I know you probably have other plans. Let's go. With Brandon. Named after one of my good friends from the YouTube channel, Brandon Plain Spotter 23. So there we go, we now have our own dog. And this is another DLC I have, which gives us quad bite. I did see we also have a 2.7 Strativarius 
which we need to buy ammo for. Let's see, do we have the right type of ammo unlocked? We need 270 shots, which we do have enough for. Which we're gonna go ahead and buy someone and we'll swap out our rifle. And we'll put the ammo into our inventory. And if we can, we can't. I was gonna buy some doggy biscuit. Right, can we buy any new scopes? No, we cannot. Which are many different types of weapons. Right. Where's Brandon at? There he is. Hold B to bring up the K9 command wheel. Tell Brandon to stay. Let's play with him. Give him some pets. I'm doing this to increase the bond, which, if they have a high bond, they have slightly boosted stats and also increases the companion level. Now, these dogs are designed for. And this game I used for, if I remember correctly, you know, the tracking blood after you've shot the animal you're hunting. Just to go ahead, equip our new gun and put the ammo and scope on and we'll head down to the lake and do some hunting I'll see you when we found something to hunt right you can find these around the map which are buildable areas which this one is a hunting stand Gives us a good view out across here. And across here. Which we are currently not seeing anything to hunt. So we're going to exit this hunting stand and we'll continue moving around until we find something. I'll see you when we found it. Right, we've got a group of white-tailed deers right up ahead, which we're going to sneak up on. And then we're going to try to take out the buck, which is the one with the antlers. We might just be able to take a shot from here. Where's the buck gone? Ah, oh, the buck's run off ahead. Looks like a buck and th four females. Four does. I don't know where it is. A buck is a male deer and a doe is a female deer. 
We're gonna keep sneaking up on them. They've gone. They're just the other side of the bushes. I'll see you when we get closer. Alright, we have found where the deer are at. We're just gonna take the shot from here. Which I don't think I hit it. But either way, we'll go over there and have a look. Oh, I was gonna try and take a second shot at that other one, but I didn't get the chance. Let me go ahead, reload. Make sure we have a full clip. They're over in these trees. Ooh. There's an elk over there. No, an elk, a moose. Tell my dog to try find some blood. Which I don't think there is any. Yeah, my dog didn't find any. So we're gonna chase after the herd and I'll see you when we've caught back up with them. And as we were going for them, we came up against this guy. He seems very friendly. Never mind, he's trying to kill us. I'm just gonna hope those shots penetrated so we have something my dog can track. And go ahead, reload our shotgun. Yes, we did get some blood to track. I'm gonna go ahead and reload my rifle as well. I'll see you when we've found the moose again. Right, we found another herd of moose, which we are going to try shoot one and try hit an organ tell my dog to heal now that should have been a long Right, I should have hit that twice. So now we go ahead and go over and track it. I'll see you when we've caught up with it. Alright, so we found them again and we've just taken a shot at one of them. Which there should be a new blood trail down here. Which there is. No vital organs hit, of course. Uh. 
track the blood so you can go find this moose. If I don't find it soon, I'm going to just end the video. I'll see you when we catch up. Alright, I've found a black-tailed deer, which I'm going to take Be out. Be sure to aim for its vital organs. Heart and lung shots mean quicker kills. Less painful. Ooh, instantly out. So to end this video we're going to harvest this black tail deer. And as always, I I will get my dog to track the blood. Then you praise it, then collect the harvest to increase the tracking and companion skill. Wait until it says harvest found. Right, there we go. Then praise, pet your dog, or give a treat if you have any. And then confirm the trophy. What do I even hit? Ooh, nah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Severing the spine. That's a decent hit. Alright, and with that, I'm going to end today's ooh, video. Ooh. Remember to like and subscribe and check out my Discord server, which is in the description down below. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one, goodbye.